My story comes from Elbert Smith's autobiography and it's about, it's actually, uh, it's not about him, it's about a man called Peter Worley who attended the Attleborough congregation and Peter was one of 13 men who was sent to war during um, the First World War. And before they went, they had a prayer service in the congregation and they felt that God was telling them that all 13 men would come back from war. Um, so Peter goes off to war. He serves across Europe and suffers many injuries. In the autobiography, it says that he was a physical wreck um, by the end of the war and ends up in hospital. And so the other 12 men do return to the Attleborough congregation but Peter is the last one because he has this extended stay in hospital and he doesn't return until 1920. When he does return, he finds a little boy who sees him on the street. So when he sees Peter, he runs into his mum and he says, Mum, Mum, Peter's back. Does that mean I can now start praying for a bicycle? So basically, this little boy had spent the whole time putting Peter first and praying for Peter's safe return rather than the thing he really wanted for himself. And Peter, who gave this testimony um, at a reunion, said that he made sure that the little boy got his bicycle. And what I really, really struck me about this testimony, about this story, is that the little boy put somebody else before him. And I wondered how many of us actually are prepared, are prepared to sacrifice to that extent to give up our dreams of a bicycle or whatever it is and just to ask God to help somebody else. And I thought actually that was a really powerful testimony.